I was highly attracted to the idea of doing a love story with scale, you know, with Dr. Zivago and Out of Africa, something like that, because I felt that it hadn't been done in a long time. So I was just highly uh, impacted by this story of <clears throat> essentially two, somewhere between broken and incomplete people uh, who through this, it's basically 10 days, through this 10-day experience, change their lives and change who they are and grow into who they are. You know, the movie's in some ways about three things. The movie's about falling in love, the movie's about surviving, and the movie's about finding yourself. And all three of those go together in the movie. You know, you, you can't find yourself without falling in love. You obviously can't. I don't think you could survive without falling in love. I think that, you know, these people, while it seems, you know, while they're certainly separated or estranged at the beginning of the movie because they're such different people, I think the fact that they fall in love is one of the reasons that allows them to survive, the, to survive this extraordinary ordeal, right? Um, and so I think all those things are intertwined, in and, and I think in that sense it feels much more robust and, and much more intense than what Hollywood has tended to make for love stories. I think it is both what he represented in terms of his talent, but also I think it's his emotional makeup, which is this notion of being emotional without being soft in, in a tough-minded way. Um, also, just the, you know, he's... Look, the, the physical demands of making this movie are, are pretty extraordinary, and he's made, he's made so many movies. That's the thing that most people don't realize is, you know, he's made 10 or 15 movies, honey, and he's vastly experienced. And so from the first moment we met, we had this connection, and he was more impressive about the script and what we were trying to achieve than anyone I've met, and, you know, I think more impressive about understanding what makes this movie special. Both of them came to this saying, you know, that there aren't very many opportunities like this, that there aren't too many opportunities to act against someone of this caliber, that this story is so deeply emotional and intense was a real opportunity. I think they were incredibly excited about playing off each other. I think they both fell in love with Hanny and sort of, you know, and once you see Hanny's movies, you go, oh my God, this is as talented a, a director is working today. So I think they came, you know, deeply committed to, to to making this something special and something quality. And I think you can see it in their performances, particularly in sort of the reality of their performances. You know, this never feels like, frankly, part of it, because it isn't. It never feels like two people on a soundstage. It never feels like two people who are just, you know, and both of them are at work, you know, both of them were an integral part of making this in the sense that, you know, they kept pushing, does this feel real? Is this what my character would do? Is this, and you know, they were both deeply involved and, and integral to making this on the level that we were trying to. I hope they are deeply moved and touched by two people falling in love. I hope they are emotional. I guess most of what I would hope is emotional, you know, that they are emotionally moved by two people who are, you know, in her case, sort of, uh, you know, chasing, chasing, you know, her, her photography stuff as a way to cover up the emptiness in, his, in her life, and him just broken. He's a broken man at the beginning of this movie, and so I hope that they will be emotionally moved by two people genuinely finding themselves and then I hope they'll be scared and thrilled and you know the 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 spectacle of this movie it's so terrifying what these two people are going through that um, you know I hope they'll be excited and on the edge of their seat